for tomorrow morning's Cowboy Breakfast. Every year, thousands gather for free tacos, biscuits, coffee, all to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Now, this year, the goodies will be served up by or served up at Cowboys Dance Hall on Loop 410 and I-35. You'll have to get there early. It all starts at 4.30 a.m. and goes to 9. Now, your Viper 5 forecast. Most folks just stay up all night. Hey, you know, and in line with the nation's largest free breakfast, one of the biggest contributors, Pioneer Flower. What a beautiful shot from Chopper 5 in high definition on this Thursday night. Gorgeous, gorgeous down there. Pioneer Flower, that's good stuff for those biscuits. Biscuits and gravy, tacos, hot coffee. Don't forget, we've got Paul Morellis and Natalie Tejeda. Both going to be down there live tomorrow morning. Temperature 55 degrees. Skies are clear. 53% relative humidity. That's downtown. Here at Ken's 554. Humidity still low. 48%. It's a little higher up near Kerrville, but Camp Verde Ranch pretty chilly. 37. So just above freezing there with calm winds. Bernie's at 52. Seguin 53. Southwest High School there too. Out in Stone Oak, a high today of 67 degrees. Currently at 55. And our high today was 68, so a little bit warmer, 5 degrees above average. And this morning, 37, right in the neighborhood of average. Aquifer down 3 tenths of a foot. Mountain Cedar down, but still heavy at 710. I think it will stay a little on the heavy side tomorrow. West, northwesterly winds are expected. And they're expected to also blow in a little bit of cirrus cloud cover. In fact, I think this cloud cover will build just a little bit tomorrow. Not enough for any rain. A lot of the moisture is still going to have to build up before we get some showers. And that's really looking like Saturday. That's when our upper level system will get its act together. Now, it'll be closed off at first. So on Friday, it sets up shop over Arizona. This is actually Friday evening. And not until it really kind of opens up and its energy ejects to to the east, do we start seeing the rain bands move in our direction? So the best chance is really Saturday afternoon and into Saturday night. High pressure takes care of us through tomorrow. So tomorrow looks like another nice day. Tomorrow morning chilly for the breakfast and then in the afternoon mild in the 70s. But let's fast forward to Saturday and you'll see the leading edge of the rain just out to the west over Del Rio by Saturday morning. And then everything moves out and expands east. We get some heavier rain pockets by Saturday night and even overnight. And this could add up to three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall. And that's really good news. Now, just a leading edge too. Uh, looking ahead, there's going to be a frontal boundary that moves in our direction for Tuesday. And things are interesting. Could actually see a few snow flurries. It's a long shot, but it might happen. All right, temperatures overnight, probably an isolated freeze or two, not out of the question tomorrow, up and into the lower 70s. So one thing you can expect, the summer-like afternoons, the rain moving in Saturday, but clearing the system east of us by Sunday afternoon. Overnight, a few isolated light freezes, but 36 in the city, so it will be cold. Next seven days, we've got 72 and sunny tomorrow. Best chance of rain overnight Saturday. We clear out Sunday afternoon, but stay like springs. 75. This is the day, Tuesday. If we get the cold air in in enough time, some of this precip could freeze. Now, we're starting that day warm, 48, and it's going to get colder in the afternoon. One of those backwards days. But it looks like the coldest air gets in after the precip. If that happens, everything stays liquid on Tuesday. If it doesn't and the cold air speeds up, okay. we might get a few snow flurries. What about Groundhog Day on Monday? Is that going to change everything up? Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> it's actually, we'll see if the chupacabra sees his oh, shadow. Oh, yeah. okay. We'll wait and see on Monday. All right. <laughs> Speaking of animals, take a good look at this gorilla. He's poised to be the next internet sensation, and here's why. A zoo in England posted this video of Ambam the gorilla walking upright around his enclosure. There he is on the right. He looks like Bigfoot, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's just Look cruising along. He's got a lunch <laughs> That's already been viewed 250,000 times. He's just going to go clock in. <laughs> it's like a far side commercial, isn't it? All the gorillas have the ability to walk, but most don't, except for that guy. <laughs> well, remember this baby grand piano, which was found on a South Florida sandbar all by itself. The mystery on how it got there is over now. It was placed there by a teenager with the help of his father's boat as a prank. Harbor police have ordered it removed, fearing it would pollute the water there. <laughs> the gorilla was playing on the piano, by the way. The Spurs have the died off, but the Rockets and Mavs are facing off in Dallas. Joe's back with sports.
They're stealing big rigs right off the parking lot. But it's not the trucks they're after. It's what's inside. A surprising cargo, now the most tempting target for thieves. See what has them going for the Gatorade. Tomorrow at 10 on Ken's 5. Not everyone gets to sleep late. So we wake up with Ken's 5. Morning news when I need it. So I can get on the road on time. Ken's 5 Eyewitness News this morning, now beginning at 4.30 a.m. Early morning coverage you can count on. It's deal time at Alamo Toyota. For a limited time, get 0% financing on over nine models. Yes, absolute zero or pay $99 down on any Corolla. There's even more. Drive any new Camry now and pay just $199 down. Yes, $199 down or absolute zero gets you and a new Camry at Alamo Toyota. And remember, it's our goal to save you $2,000 or more on every deal. It's deal time. Head straight to Alamo Toyota. Exit Loop 410 at Starcrest. Last year's economic downturn left furniture manufacturers overstocked and ready to deal. Roomstore bought their excess inventory at pennies on the dollar. Now we're liquidating at prices so low you won't believe them till you see them. Fully stocked with their overstocks, we're taking drastic reductions on sofas, chairs, living rooms, bedrooms, and more. So much to save, so little time. So hurry. We don't cut corners, we cut prices. Blue Bonnet Ford has posted final closeout prices on all remaining 2010 models. Save over $7,100 on this F-150 truck. With automatic and more, it's posted at just $15,895. Or save over $11,500 on this F-150 Super Crew XLT. With all this and more, it's posted at just $21,995. For no games and no gimmicks, take that short drive of I-35 to Blue Bonnet Ford in New Braunfels. Because... At Blue Bonnet, price is a difference. Kick off 2011 with North Park Mazda's inventory wide sale. Brand new 2010 CX7 Sports are now posted at only $17,499 or just $249 a month. And brand new 2010 Mazda CX9 Sports are posted at only $23,999 or just $347 a month. Then get $400 in accessories or a 100,000 mile warranty at no charge. From North Park Mazda on San Pedro just north of Loop 410. Now, Ken's Five Sports. You know, because I didn't have a good evening last night, my husband sleep like, <laughs> like this, you know. <laughs> it's your fifth wedding anniversary as well. Okay. <laughs> Mom apparently has never watched you play tennis because she gets too nervous. Do you think she might come over for the final on Saturday? I oh, asked her many times and I say, please come with me. No, no, I have my life. I didn't want to come with you. <laughs> Well, you know, if tennis doesn't work out for Lee Nash, you can always make it as a stand-up comic. She's funny, don't you think? She's good at, at playing tennis as well. She's going to face off against Kim Kleister Saturday for the title in the Australian Open. Good for her. Hey, the Spurs are taking the night off, probably packing for that long rodeo road trip that's coming up next week. But first, fellas have one more game in the AT&T Center Saturday night against the Houston Rockets. No rest for the Rockets tonight. They had to travel to Dallas to battle the Mavericks. Mavs waste no time getting on the board. Jason Kidd on the move. Watch him lay it off for the big gym. And Dirk Nowitzki, easy deuce, 15-8. Mavs on top. More Mavericks this time. Check out Sasha Pavlovic. The steal, and he's going to take it coast to coast. Mavs take a 26 to 10 lead. Then it just gets plain old silly. Jason Kidd. Watch him drive and do the alley oop with Tyson Chandler. And that just kind of started a trend because JJ Berea says I can do the same thing, just maybe a little bit better. How about a scoop alley oop to Chandler? Mavs lead by 17 at the break. They have to hang on at the end to win it, though. 111 to 106. Now to a telltale sign that Fiesta is right around the corner. Bleacher seats and street chairs for the major parades are on sale now. They range between 10 and 25 bucks. You'll find an interactive map with those parade routes and seating locations on our website at kens5.com. We've also linked it along with purchase information under the On Kens 5 tab right there. All right. All right, Tomorrow. first and foremost, yeah, cowboy breakfast in the morning, 36 in the city, so a chilly start to the day. Light freeze will be isolated around the area, mostly clear means 
Mostly sunny again tomorrow, 72. Very spring-like. Now, we might see a few more cirrus clouds tomorrow than we have today, but they won't be rain clouds. That's coming in on Saturday and Saturday night. And remember to join Vicki and Fred in the morning for Ken's 5 Eyewitness News this morning. Have the latest news, weather, and up-to-the-minute traffic. It's Eyewitness News at 10. The Late Show with David Letterman is next. And right now, a gorilla walking on two legs. <laughs> there he is. Get out of my way. Ken's 5 is a part of Belo, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC.